In this video, I'm going to explain modern dating in one way, and that is the Frazier Allen Allen theory. Okay, if you haven't heard of the Frazier Allen Allen theory, go check it out. If you just go to Google and um, you'll see, just use the exact spelling that I have in this video title. I found out about this only the other day from the concierge in my building. Yes, the concierge in my building. I told him I have a dating channel and he said, oh man, you need to do a video on the Fraser Allen theory. That's what this video is about. And it totally explains modern dating. So let's get into it. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and a notification button because we're trying to video every day. All right. The Fraser Allen Allen theory. And as I mentioned, I never heard of this before. And a concierge in my building told me about this. And I thought, what the hell? So sure shit, this is it. This is, this is it in a nutshell. And I made a bunch of notes. So I'm just going to read it exactly as, as it's explained. The Fraser Allen Allen theory goes like this. The one you want doesn't want you. And the one that wants you, you don't want. Okay, it seems like a tongue twister, but let me repeat that. The one you want doesn't want you, and the one that wants you, you don't want. So basically, that explains modern dating, is that by default, this is what happens. When you get ghosted or rejected or, or somebody breaks up with you, then you, your fallback is to go to the one that you don't want typically, right? So, so then you end up ditching the one that wants you and the pattern continues. I know this sounds like a bit of a tongue twister, but just bear with me. So remember this, the one you want will typically like, because what happens is that when you want really like somebody and you really want them, this happened to me, guys, I was married before 20 years. I've been single for two and a half years. Now divorced, I'm sharing all that, and I'm very transparent in my videos and on my channel. And that was the position I was in. I wanted her, and I fell in love with her, but she was never really into me, and that caused a lot of problems. So now with dating, it's the same thing. Well, not for me, but now I'm looking for the opposite, and I'll explain this. So. This is a trap that a lot of people get themselves into, and this is always the case. There's no work way around this. One person wants the other person more, always. So us guys, what happens is if we go for the one, we really like this person and we want them, but now that person rejects us, we will now go back to someone that wants us, but we don't want them. Make sense? So that's the vicious cycle. Another word, another word I heard to explain this is the rhythm, rhythm cycle or the rhythm, the rhythm of dating, modern dating, right? Where it's basically a figure eight. It just keeps, <laughs> it keeps going on and on and on and on. And that explains so many problems in relationships, right? So I love when I heard uh, Rich Cooper from Entrepreneurs and Car uh, Cars. He's another Canadian like myself. So I live in Atlanta. And I moved here for my work. I'm originally from Canada. So Richard Cooper, based out of Toronto, Canada, um, he has a successful YouTube channel. So go check him out if you like. And so he said, you really need to find somebody who has burning desire for you. Or in other words, as one of my friends put it, where she likes you or loves you more than you like her or love her. And it, you might think like silver bachelor, this sounds a little ass backwards and it doesn't sound like it's a mutual thing. It's never guys, you need to understand this. It's never mutual. It's never 50, 50, like 50, 50 doesn't exist. It doesn't. There's one person that's, just, that's the provider. There's one person that's the leader. There's one person that's paying most of the bills. And there's one person that typically likes or loves the other person more. And my advice in this video is you don't want to be the person ultimately that loves or likes them more than they love or like you. The 
best situation is where they love and like you more than what you love or like them. And I'll leave you with just these two last stories. So thanks for sticking with me. These two last stories is two different women that I dated during my two and a half years. And I made some mistakes along the way, and I won't get all the details about the mistakes I made, but basically they started picking up on how much I liked them. And both of them at different times, right? Said at one point the same fucking thing. They said, you know, I think you like me more than I like you. And I was an idiot at that time, not now, but I was an idiot at that time and I kept pursuing them. I kind of laughed it off. Well, guess what, man? That was the beginning of the end. As soon as they sensed that I liked them more than they liked me, that was the beginning of the end. So let me know what you, in the, what you think in the comments about this Fraser Allen Allen theory. <laughs> Right? And has this happened to you? That's what I want to know. Has this happened to you where you've liked them? And as soon as they sensed that, did they bail? Or what's happened in the opposite where they actually liked you, you weren't that into them. And that's just the whole thing in dating is that the less attention you give someone and the less interest, the more they're going to like you. That's just the way it goes. So thanks for watching, guys. And let me know what you think in the comments. And we'll see you next time.